Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to our five minute fix series. Um, and today we've got a question in um, from Louise McLean, who's uh, a member at um, LLG in the beaches. And she's sent a nice message into the, uh, the website saying, um, how do I hold the club a little bit looser? So Louise is finding through her backswing, um, the tension in the hands is definitely there, resulting in a, a little callus in her finger, I think, uh, which is very common uh, this time of year as well, it's getting quite warm. So here's some tips, Louise, where you can help with your grip pressure, and for anyone watching at home, if you think you are strangling that club a little bit, it's a really important part of the golf swing. When we hold the club too tight, the arms are the ones that fire first and the body really can't engage. So grip pressure is absolutely key in golf, Louise, and everyone watching. So first of all, let's rank the pressure out of 10. So if you were to strangle the club hole as tight as you can, that'd be 10 out of 10. Where you can pull out your hands, that'd be zero. You want to try and hold the club about four out of ten, okay, on the scale. So have a play around that first. Try and really go tight, go loose, and then reapply to four out of ten. That's the first tip. And then the next thing we're going to give you is around. You know, sometimes we can forget to uh, to hold the club loosely because there's lots of things going in the golf swing. So a nice checkpoint, Louise, that you might want to do is on your glove. You just notice I've just put a little little red dot on the glove here. Um, so when I'm over the golf ball, and I'm just about to hit the shot, as soon as I look down and peer down this, this red dot here, that's a trigger and a reminder me to go down on the grip pressure. Otherwise, I might easily forget about it. So I have something on your glove. Other ladies have put little letter R for relaxation. Maybe a little R of the glove might help Louise. And that's a trigger just to, just to really relax that grip pressure off, keep it four out of 10. And then my final point is around, you know, a lot of people I teach might be relaxed at the start, but then when they go to the top of the swing, that grip pressure can reapply. So a nice tip is just when you're over the golf shot, just exhale, so breathe out, feel all the tension come out of the, the arms and out the fingertips. And when you come into impact, feel like your grip pressure again is even lighter than when you started. So if you're starting at about a four, try and feel as you hit the ball, like you're a three. So you're coming down rather than going up. So I'm gonna put that into play now. Let's hit a shot down the range. So I've got my nice setup. I'm looking down at the red dot. That's my trigger and reminder to relax my hands. Let's go four out of 10 on the grip pressure. And I get a nice shot there, straight to the flag. Really nice contact on that. My hands were super, super relaxed. So Louise, I hope that helps and I hope the callus gets a little better on the fingers. Uh, give that one a go at home, everyone. Work on the grip pressure and get some nice speed behind the golf shot. See you all very soon.